are on the verge of war in North Korea. That is the emphasis of the topic today, but a lot of discussion happening here on The Alex Jones Show. This is Mike Adams, the guest hosting for Alex, but Alex is here in studio right now and will be dropping in from time to time with special reports and breaking news on North Korea. We've got a couple of guests today, three in fact, two of them talking about important decentralized self-replicating food self-reliance technology that you will need if war breaks out and if martial law is declared and things begin to really implode. We've also got a guest on geoengineering coming up in the third hour. But again, the main emphasis today is North Korea on the verge of war threatening America with nuclear strikes. And here to tell us what's going to be happening in that realm is Alex Jones. Alex? Mike, absolutely. I was going to come in today and uh, work on some of the administrative things in the new studio that you can see they're building over there and all the work we're doing. Uh, but we were talking last night, and you're like, you really want me to do the show tomorrow? Because <laughs> all this North Korea stuff, and you're absolutely right, this is incredibly important. And you also have the calls to censor the Internet going on, not just here, but in Europe, trying to mirror the communist Chinese. So we've got those attacks uh, going on. And we're going to talk about senior advisor Dan Pfeiffer. This is the senior advisor to the president. This is who the globalists, you know, tell uh, uh, Obama uh, what to do through. This is the guy that helps load the teleprompter. This is the guy that chooses the speeches predominantly uh, that Obama is going to have loaded into his teleprompter. He is bemoaning on C-SPAN, the Drudge Report. And when he attacks the Drudge Report uh, and tells the media not to go read it, which, and, oh, but it doesn't have the power it used to, is because it has more power. Right. It shows that they're scared of the entire alternative media. And it also shows that we're having an effect because they're not all powerful. They want to be in big, glistening uh, glass buildings and marble buildings and, you know, millions of troops in black uniforms and armored vehicles and bullets to intimidate those of us that are awake. But uh, then to deny to the public that, that all this exists. So also at the start of the third hour, we had that 10-minute report proving the New World Order is real mm. uh, and showing their hoaxes that premiered on the nightly news last night. We're going to premiere that on the radio side uh, today at 108, the start of the third hour. Then you've got your geoengineering expert uh, coming on. Again, they, they say geoengineering doesn't exist. Now they admit there's giant government secret programs that we told people about 17 uh, years ago. So all of that and more. But uh, I've followed the Korean conflict from the 50s and Eisenhower and the rest of it. I follow it very closely. It's We've always owned it. Maybe the trigger for World War III. Uh, as Lindsey Williams sources said, the Middle East is a distraction. It's important, but watch China, North Korea. Uh, this has is, talked about it. This is the real trigger. And I, and I respect Skousen, but he could be wrong. Uh, this this trigger could come sooner rather than later. I think this probably is insane rhetoric to get more oil and food. Uh, but the point is, is that Kim Jong-un is completely out of his mind. He is, absolutely. And uh, China's rebuking him uh, right now, and that's really unprecedented. Uh, North Korea yesterday, last night when we talked, uh, had just issued uh, their own fatwa. North Korea approves nuclear strike on the United States, says they're preparing, and they also say they have frogs uh, or short-range uh, tactical nuclear weapons that they're going to use. And we know that Russia has been involved with them decades ago. They may have frogs or they may be used or they may be pushed by China that at a higher level is working with the Illuminati and the globalist. Again, China isn't run by the U.S. It's run by the New World Order and the communist, just like we are. Right. OK. Or, or the oligarchs who use communism. It's, it's really a eugenics state. Communism is just a label, a slave state. And so the fact that uh, Donald Rumsfeld helped help transfer uh, in, in, in 1996 the ABB reactors from Switzerland that could build fissile material or produce fissile material for A-bombs, the fact that Laura Allen Hughes through China helped give them the ICBM technology. The globalists have armed North Korea for this role. Is it coming early? We always said they'd break out with a giant war as Rand Corporation called for during the economic collapse. So if this heats up, you know the, the economic collapse is around the corner, Mike. And they're specifically threatening to nuke Austin, by the way. Another interesting twist to their, their uh, litany of threats. This is The Alex Jones Show. We'll be right back with Alex and other guests straight ahead. Stay with us. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. 
plus the don't tread on me flag and now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine plus get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month and if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show on this Thursday, April 4th, 2013, as the nation stands on the verge of potential war, or at least the threat of war. This is all breaking news and special reports here on the Alex Jones Show. Alex is in studio and will be delivering that special information here in just one minute. Uh, we've got missile defense systems being sent to Guam now. The United States is taking these threats seriously as North Korea's psycho leader, Kim Jong-un, says he's going to nuke America, including cities like Austin. Alex is here with special reports to give us a breakdown of what's happening, and then we'll have guests on at the bottom of this hour and the next hour. But let's go right to Alex with the latest on North Korea. Absolutely, Mike. Thank you. Uh, here's just some of the headlines. And, and this is unprecedented uh, in the 60 years since the armistice was signed at the end of the Korean War. This is unprecedented, uh, this type of rhetoric. And even though it may be rhetoric, and we hope it's rhetoric, uh, this is unprecedented. There are criminal globalist forces that manipulate the U.S., Europe, uh, China, and are pushing them all towards an authoritarian system. Our government's trying to adopt Chinese-style policies of one child and internet censorship and kill switches. And that's because the globalists went in and put Mao Zedong in power. And the reason I talk about China when I talk about North Korea is because the New World Order controls and manipulates the communist Chinese regime to a great level. So the New World Order steers and controls China, and China steers and controls to a great extent the puppet state, the kamikaze state uh, of North Korea, uh, the Stalinist state that uh, literally is the most oppressive probably uh, in world history and certainly the most delusional. And it's important to add that ABB was headed up in 1996 by Donald Rumsfeld, who got authorization from Bill Clinton uh, and also the United Nations to transfer reactor types that uh, can be, be easily used to build and, and create the fissile material for atomic bombs. So I'm giving people some backstory here that we've always known that North Korea is the real trigger to look at, not even the Middle East, for a true new world war. And remember, two years ago, Rand Corporation said, we need a global war yeah. to smokescreen the economic implosion, to get people to rally behind all their governments, from China to Europe to the United States to England, to Australia especially, so that everyone will get behind their governments during this crisis. So, but that's, that's the key, is that, that the New World Order can use this, I'm sorry to interrupt, but they can use this outbreak of war to then unleash the economic collapse to, for example, call in the dollar if they wanted to, replace it with another currency. Exactly. Rip everybody off who's got savings. Do what Cyprus did. War is the health of the state. Absolutely. So all of our excuse. experts, in, including you, Gerald Slante, myself, all of them have concurred that when they start the real global meltdown, they're going to start huge wars. Yeah. And they're lining the law. Middle East up for that, putting Al-Qaeda in everywhere. And then we'll be conspiracy theorists when we hold, hold up AP Reuters, you know, a year from now, two years from now, when there's a giant war in the Middle East. I mean, there's already proxy wars. And we'll say, look, the government put Al-Qaeda in and they'll say, how dare you, traitor, say that when our men are dying fighting them. Go ahead, Mike. Well, do you believe, now we, we know that North Korea has nuclear bombs, they've been testing them. They just tested one, I think, in December, right? They've been testing long-range cruise missiles. But do you think, do you believe that they have the ability to put the nuclear warheads on the missiles yet that can reach America? We don't know. China could use them as a proxy. The Russians, we know, worked with them decades ago. The Russian border is actually very close to North Korea. Uh, they have a railway system that goes in and out of North Korea. Uh, but again, the globalist could be using the Chinese to give orders to Kim Jong-un to act like this, saying, oh, you're going to get your food and oil like you always do doing this, but this rhetoric's probably three, four times what it's ever been, and then they could do a false flag. 
Right. And then right. say they did it and start World War III. N the, the U.S. government or some, the globalists, some, the criminal globalists, elements, rogue criminal elements, criminal elements yes. nuke a U.S. city and blame North Korea, saying North Korea brought in suitcase nukes or something like that. Our government's been digging in like there's going to be a total collapse in America and they're going to have war with the people. Yep. They'll then use that as a smokescreen to go after us. Or they may just stage terror attacks and blame it on patriot groups. I mean, White House advisors have said that. We'll have a new Oklahoma City and blame it on you. One micron from admitting they did it. And remember, the current attorney general was the deputy attorney general with Oklahoma City, and the emails came out in lawsuits about how he was covering it up. Now, let's stop right yep. there. Let me give people the headlines. North Korea moves missiles within considerable uh, range to east uh, coast. Uh, here is another headline. North Korea, AFP, uh, approves nuclear strike on United States and says prepare for the missiles to hit you. Now, I, I know the globalists are evil. And they'd like us to live like North Koreans. So I'm not saying, hey, we're good, North Korea's bad. Globalists are manipulating this. But listen, under international law, common law, the fact that he says we're aiming missiles, prepare for them to go off. We're, he said, quote, we're going to hit you, prepare for the explosions. They should be hit right there. Absolutely. They should be. I mean, if somebody comes to my house and says, yeah. I've got a gun, I'm about to shoot you, I've got a right to kill you. So I'm telling yeah. you, right now, they should use all the space planes with the DU Sabos to decapitate him. Yeah. And I, by the way, I'm yeah, sure those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so, but listen, that's not happening. They're going to let them, whether it's this year or two years from now, and I agree with Joel Scalzer, maybe five years from now, they're going to start World War III with this little creature. So, so... What about, so he's being manipulated, possibly, but he's also and, and, insane. And, and the globalists gave him the, the, the atomic bomb material. Right, right. They got primitive weapons. What about internal pressures in North Korea? Is Kim Jong-un being forced into a radicalization of his own policy because of his own military uh, wanting him to be strong or be overthrown? Well, that's part of it, and uh, but I mean, compared to his father or, or his grandfather, I mean, this is, I mean, these are quotes out in the official, I don't just believe our media or French news agency when they yeah. say this. I went and looked up the official, uh, and they put it out in English, uh, their information ministry of the Stalinist state, and, and they said, we're preparing to strike you, prepare for the explosions now, we're going to hit you. And then they show maps with where we're sitting targeted. Yeah, right, Austin. Now, they probably <laughs> can't hit us with their ICBMs. Uh, undoubtedly, they've got DC-10s with chemical lasers circling 100 miles off that can shoot these down. They've probably been shooting the ones down that they've been trying to, quote, launch over Japan. Uh, so, so I'm going to say this. They've had DC-10s for 20 years declassified that can vaporize with chemical lasers. With a, and, the, and the newer ones have cyclotrons added on to them, so they're chemical weapons. Uh, uh, excuse me, particle beams, not chemical weapons. These are chemical laser. Yeah, chemical laser. With a cyclotron on top. And, I mean, these are lasers of the whole length of the plane. Yeah, right. Okay? Right. And so, I mean, uh, the, the declassified stuff was vaporizing armored missiles, uh, you know, 20 years ago. So if a missile gets through, okay, I'm going to be very suspicious because, A, he's got, you know, 1970s piece of junk type ICBMs. Uh, Nothing the, they build ever works. The Stalin estate can't yeah. even produce automobiles. Right, right. The globalists have given them everything they've got. Uh, it's very hard to get one of these into orbit, much less back in. And so if it doesn't get shot down, the globalists have some explaining to do. But they could put a portable nuke, a suitcase nuke, on a container shipping out of South Korea to, for example, the port of Seattle. And they could detonate it. Well, that's the, the new port. real threat. And so instead of boarding Syrian craft and, and Russian craft who are getting small arms to protect themselves you know, against Al-Qaeda, which our government's doing, th you know, they're boarding those to stop even machine guns being shipped to Syria. All North Korean vessels should be boarded everywhere. Yeah, right. I mean, they right. shouldn't even be allowed to leave their port yeah. because, as you said, that's the new threat, Associated Press. They're saying they have small tacticals that can be delivered in unconventional ways, yes. i.e. barges. And they ship goods into South Korea and into, North, uh, and into China, which actually come here. So I'm calling for an embargo of all Chinese goods because you can't trust these containers. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a really good point. Also, the false flag element. Again, the globalists could detonate a nuke in a container 10 miles off the coast of Oregon or Washington Or State. Long Beach, just get or into Long the Beach. port. They don't exactly. even search them. And then they could say, well, that's the excuse. It's martial law. That's the it. hammer comes down. That's it. And, and by the way, then you can't buy bullets, guns, magazines, food, anything. I want to explain something about Kim Jong-un and Il and all these other demons. They, on record, kidnap stars of South Korea and Japan, and they have B-movie stars and C-movie stars fly in. It's not just Dennis Rodman to service them. 
and they've got all sorts of you know torture palaces. I mean, these are incarnate what the globalists would love to be. Yeah. I mean, this is their Agenda 21 plan, total deindustrialization, total hell, tiny subcompact cities that have power, uh, the rest of the country dark, uh, the public literally living in like the 15th century. The people there don't even know what planet they're on, basically. Well, I, I thought you were describing Austin just there for a second. I think, I think he won't nuke Austin because that's his fan base. <laughs> yeah, all these sick trendies that think it's funny. Now, shifting gears to sorry, the... Sorry to interject. No, no, right. you're absolutely right. Topic. Sh shifting gears here to something I want to talk about. The alternative media is under attack because we are the real media. When we come back from break, I want to go to this clip, and then you can get on to your next guest. going to have a lot of important stuff to cover, and I'll be back at the start of the next hour with updates. And then we've got the special report at the start of the third hour on them right. denying there's a new world order, and we're going to show some clips of that. And if anything else happens in the meantime, you'll be here immediately to break it down. Absolutely. And p people call everybody you know. Tell them to tune in because, because here's the message. Here's the message. The Drudge Report is at the very top of the Liberty uh, Pyramid. Not to use an Illuminati right. term. That's just the, that's how they look at it. Yeah. At the very top is, is, is Matt Drudge and DrudgeReport.com. Okay. If they can take him down or if they can demonize him or if they can discredit that site, which all it does is link to a wide spectrum of news, mainstream alternative government documents, our stuff, everything. If they can take him down, it's not just that it has the most traffic of any news website in the world. It's that it's setting the agenda. I've been in newsrooms, CNN, Fox, talk radio. You see it on the news all the time. In the background is Drudge. Yeah. Because they're so unimaginative. Drudge has a real pulse on what a normal guy who loves liberty is into. That's what you see there, his, his team of a couple guys, okay? They know what's real. They know what's important. They've got a sixth sense. They, they're really smart. And, and so, so all they're doing is linking to a wide spectrum of news, and it scares the White House that they don't control the narrative because right. they run ABC, NBC, CBS. They're blackmailing Fox right now with the phone hacking stuff, with Justice Department investigations. You see the media matters run by the White House saying they're going to bring down alternative media. They want to get into all our organizations and destroy us. They're on record. So now the senior White House guy has said, quote, the Drudge Report hurts what we're trying to do. <laughs> what, what I'm explaining is when you get to the resistance, the fact is we're in the fight. The Drudge Report, Infowars.com, everything we're doing is, is we're because it's not just Drudge more and more, we're able to set the agenda. We'll come back and break it down. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Uh, and again, you've got your guests coming up. We'll be back for the first 20 minutes of the next hour with the latest info on North Korea. They are threatening to nuke, and, and not just threatening, saying prepare for the detonations. Yeah, uh, right. and, and, and our government and the globalists, as usual, uh, gave them all the weapons, just like they're putting al-Qaeda in charge. And now they're going to use this threat to take our liberty. Now, in the backdrop of this, I've explained to people, I've had the White House directly respond to us repeatedly on the Piers Morgan petition, on... Uh, how they're trying to shut down coal power plants, saying I'm crazy. Uh, that was Carney that responded. I've had them respond to me many times directly, but hundreds of times through their surrogate media matters, which is publicly run by their former transition chief, yeah. and, and is a saboteur group. In their own words, they say, yeah. we will get we'll hired, we yeah. will infiltrate. Politico is basically another group. So all of this is going on. Um, my point to listeners is we need your prayers, we need your financial support. We need to be big and strong. We need you to spread the word about DrudgeReport.com, InfoWars.com, NaturalNews.com, WorldNetDaily.com. I'd say Newsmax, but they've kind of faded off. I mean, yeah. still, uh, you know, all these groups, 
because because look, Drudge isn't perfect. I'm not perfect. All of us disagree with stuff. I disagree with some stuff a day after I say it in hindsight <laughs> or how I said it. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, little Alex Jones, little Matt Drudge, little Mike Adams. I mean, sure, we're big, big hearts. We love liberty, but we're little guys. Yeah, we're okay. individuals. We're individuals. We it. we. But this is an example to the power you have that the head White House advisor, the head. This is the real president. This is the this is above Karl Rove under Bush. You know, this is. What's loaded in the teleprompters? What Obama does, okay, says, quote, Drudge hurts what we're trying to do. Which is to control and disinform. Yeah, and folks, by the way, they killed Breitbart. I mean, I mean, there's yeah, undoubtedly no, the no way doubt, they did everything. No okay, listen, they could kill me tomorrow, okay? And, and let me tell you, we need to, if anything happens to Drudge, you need to know, which it's not because we're talking about it. But right. this isn't a game, okay? Okay, I get death threats at home where they tell me what my wife was talking about on the phone with her dad, okay? This is real. Okay, so I want to you know, get this through your head. Let's go ahead and play this clip. Here he is on C-SPAN. This is up on Infowars.com right now. It rolled off Drudge because he doesn't like talking about himself. But I'm gonna. This is on Infowars.com right now. Business Insider. This is him talking about Drudge and how it's dangerous. They've got to have an iron fist of control because they can't control the media and what they do might get picked up by Drudge. And, and you know he's discredited though. He has no power. When all Drudge will do is show what they said. It's, it's, that's why he's so powerful. He's the ultimate power. He just, he, he just, the truth. He just shows what they did. Yeah. It, he doesn't even, no one ever sees him or hears him. It's them. Right. He just shows them going, we're going to get your guns. Once we get these registered, I'm going to take them all. Drudge links to our article. Yeah, Drudge doesn't even write his own articles. He just links. <laughs> it's like, look, this is what they said. And yes. they're scared of that because they want it in their context. They can't control them. He's breaking the electronic Berlin Wall. He's the biggest hole in their wall. Drudge has no boss. That's it. And, and no investors. Look, look how globalist See? control groups have bought up the company that Rush Limbaugh's under. Yep. Look at how they've done. And I know they're putting pressure on him and others. I know the inside scoop. I mean, let me tell you. We're totally independent like Drudge. Exactly. There that's, is that's not why. much out there, folks. But listen, you better appreciate this. Okay, let's go ahead and go to this clip. Here is there's, the... There's not... The idea of iron, of iron fisted control gives us a lot more credit than we deserve. I think the fact of the matter is, is that in this day and age, people are more cautious about talking because the there is a tendency to, uh, you know, for some of the press to be a sort of on 24-hour gas patrol. And so... You know, if you're an undersecretary at the Energy Department and you're doing an interview and you say one thing, you know, during you could end up uh, being on the front page of Drudge, being um, you guys you know, love Drudge. <laughs> I'm not the only one up here. Um, and um, no, but why why does it drive conversation in your world the way it seems to? Well, it's not it doesn't it's not that it drives our conversation in our world. I'm fairly ambivalent to what Drudge right, puts up on a daily right basis, there. but it uh, I mean, there's well, I'm gonna have to come back. I know you got your guest, but for a couple of minutes, I want to play it unedited, you know, the whole clip as we're going up against a break. And I want to explain to people what he's really saying. Yeah. No one else will challenge them when they do outrageous criminal stuff. But Drudge will keep linking to the head of the uh, Environmental Protection Agency, uh, you know, uh, engaged in fraud until she gets fired. Or he will link to the filibuster of Rand Paul right. when the media was going to ignore it, and then it breaks big. Or, th or he will keep linking to the bullet story at fed.biz when they're saying it doesn't exist and show them as a pack of criminal liars. And what I'm saying is... There's not many people we've got. I, I, I hope the I viewers know. understand. Folks, it's InfoWars.com. It's DrudgeReport.com at that level. And Drudge is way above us. But after him, that's we're about it. Then there's natural news. And the point they is, it's, daily. it's scary to be going up against people like this. Do you understand? I mean, this is real. These people kill people. Okay? I mean, the, the, they're the new world order coming for our guns. And understand, love us or hate us, we're your champions in armor. You know, 300 folks up against the whole New World Order Army in the gap, and we're calling for reinforcements. Do you get how hardcore this is? We'll be back with Mike Adams. History is happening, and the enemy knows we know who they are. Hi, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, with some news about some new additions to the InfoWars store. You know good health is freedom. When you're healthy, you're not a slave to the medical system. Everything works well, your brain, your body, even your spirit. You're a healthier person. And to help support that great health, 
Alex has asked me to source the cleanest, most potent superfoods and other similar products in the world and bring them to the InfoWars store. So we've done that. The brand name is Health Ranger Select, and we're starting out right now with these three products. We've got Himalayan salt from Pakistan, formed hundreds of thousands of years ago in an ancient seabed long before modern pollution destroyed much of the oceans. This is loaded with trace minerals, and it's pristine, true, full-spectrum sea salt. We've also got Natural Attitude Turmeric. It's an extract of turmeric, very potent, tastes great, alcohol-free. This is from organic turmeric out of India. And we've also got clean chlorella. And we sourced and, and did research on all the chlorella sources around the world. And we found the two cleanest sources that have the lowest levels of any kind of contaminants. In fact, this one is virtually free of all metals and all contaminants. It's called clean chlorella. And it's, it's about two thirds protein and it's got chlorophyll and chlorella growth factor in it. Check it out online. It's an amazing superfood that athletes are using and people are using to help support healthy lifestyles. It's fantastic. This is all packaged in our certified organic facility here in Central Texas. There we follow USDA certified standards and we're audited every year by the USDA certifier to make sure that we comply with all organic standards. That combined with the fact that we only source super clean superfoods and raw materials from around the world means that our products represent the cleanest and most potent products that you'll find across the natural products industry. Check all of these out under the Health Ranger Select brand name at the InfoWars store, InfoWarsStore.com. And we'll be bringing you more of these in the near future. Thanks and take care. All right, you're back on The Alex Jones Show. This is Mike Adams sitting in with Alex Jones in studio. Go ahead, Alex, what's on your mind? No, it's just we're chomping at the bit here. You were just telling me during the break, you're going, we really are it. And it's creepy to know the White House daily is attacking me by name through their surrogates, but also sometimes by name. Yeah. Uh, and I was talking about, yeah, you know, they've tried to buy me out before, tried to give me these big offers. You were just offered Glenn Beck level money. Uh, I mean, we're talking, you know, upwards of 10 million bucks uh, to sell out to the New World Order. You've been offered national TV shows, because let's face it, you're a lot better looking than I am. And, I don't, and just I don't, as articulate, just... you're, I mean, you, you're a star, Mike Adams, but no, you're not just... trying to be a star. You have moved out here in Texas. You've got your factory. Farmer. You've got 50 caliber rifles. You want the spirit of liberty. I don't have 50 caliber rifles. I have I have mud on my pants. Look at this. I was you do too. You brought morning. yours in here. Everybody <laughs> knows that. Making that up. Uh, uh, anyway, that. anyways, let's just get back to what I was saying. The point is, we want liberty. Yeah, exactly. that's what we want. We want destiny and freedom, and they just don't know how to deal with that. And right. so, uh, it's estimated the Drudge Report could sell for probably 300 million dollars. But it would just be worthless in a month if it wasn't That's Matt Drudge point. running it. I mean, none of us can sell out because we're not doing this for money. And what would you even do with the money? The minute you have, let's say you had $10 million in your bank account, what would be the point of having it, especially when they're going to collapse the money supply anyway? They're, they're eroding it every day. But even if you had the money, what would you want to do? You'd want to start what we're doing now to tell the but, truth. But, but here's the paradox. I'm going to play this clip and get out of here for your guest that's waiting to come in. And I'll be back for 20 minutes the next hour ahead of your next guest. Mike Adams, it comes down to this. There, I love my children. Even if I was an evil person, I would be against the New World Order because it's going to be destructive of humanity. Right. I'm not stupid, but I happen to be a person that loves liberty and loves freedom. But the issue is for viewers, instead, here I am turning down even more than what Mike was talking about over the years. Uh, to, I mean, and Mike's the real deal. I mean, I mean, he's had major computer companies, software, publishing all over the world. He doesn't brag about how big he is. I don't really talk about how big we are, but I'm literally here selling color magazines at cost trying to get the word out. I'm here saying, please buy ProPure water filters from us at cost at InfoWarsStore.com with promo code water to just be able to spend six and a half million dollars a year and spend 90 plus percent of the money that comes in here to run this operation you and, and then have some back up cash, I could snap my fingers and have $50 million in here, but I'd have to kneel to Sauron. Exactly. I would no exactly. longer be who I was, so it's not even hard to turn it down, but it's frustrating to even, like, not be able to compromise a little to get a sponsor to fund things. To be moral is really hard. So so my point is, yeah. 
We have the White House coming after us. We have all this stuff going on. If you would just buy the books, the videos, the tapes, be our sponsors, support us, you're buying war bonds literally with soldiers in the gap facing the entire new world order. We're it. Everybody else sold out. Everybody else got killed. Everybody else got destroyed. I mean, I'm telling you, folks, we are front line Alamo with the enemy climbing over. We're swinging muskets. You know, I'm, I'm running towards the powder room, ladies and gentlemen, okay, with bullets already in my back. I mean, and, 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 and I'm telling you, up front, Colonel Travis is Matt Drudge. Right up there at the front, folks, make no mistake, he's wearing the, uh, you know, the colonel hat. OK, I mean, the point is, that's who everybody's going to be gunning for. And if they and that's who they got when they first, you know, finally took over at the Alamo. So what you've got to understand here, ladies and gentlemen, is we don't ever explain to people the, the incredibleness of how big this is. Right. Make your point. We'll play this video. Well, imagine the world without Matt Drudge and Infowars. You'd be getting nothing but fake fabricated CNN type of spin. Like, remember, they did the Charles Jaco fake a um, uh, Middle East set back in the first Gulf War. It was, yeah, fake it was CNN. No, no, no. And, and listen, once they get rid of us, everyone else follows. They admit that. That's right. They're going to shut the whole web down. Yep. We it's, we hang together or we hang separate. That's it. And, uh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. It's just, I want your guests to get in here. Here is the clip of the senior head White House advisor, the, the lead advisor to Obama. Okay, this is who the globalists go and tell what to do and what to load the teleprompter says the drudge hurts what we're trying to do. Again, we're the, and, and what's on drudge? Report.com, Infowars.com, naturalnews.com. But also, he'll link to what North Korea said. He'll link to what the BBC said. It, it's getting you outside the bubble of what the corporate globalist media force feeds you, where you tune to the channels and it's right. all the same thing in the same order. Okay, let's go ahead and go to this clip now from C-SPAN, where, and again, I already knew this, I already told you this, but here they are admitting they're scared to let any of their people talk about anything because they're scared of drudge. They're scared of you. They're scared of you getting what they say unfiltered. Here it is. It, it, there's, there's not the idea of iron, of iron fisted control gives us a lot more credit than we deserve. I think the fact of the matter is, is that in this day and age, people are more cautious about talking because the there is a tendency to, uh, you know, for some of the press to be a sort of on 24-hour gas patrol. They don't and control so, the narrative anymore. You know, if you're right. an That's undersecretary at the Energy Department and you're doing an interview and you say one thing, you know, during you could end up uh, the being on the front page of Drudge, being um, oh, don't you guys Drudge. Drudge. <laughs> I'm not the only one up here. Um, and um, no, but why? Why does it drive conversation in your world the way it seems to? Well, it's not. It doesn't. It's not that it drives our conversation in our world. I'm fairly ambivalent to what Drudge puts up on a daily basis, but it. Uh, I mean, oh yeah. There's a. It's le this is less true now than it was before, but there's a Pavlovian Total lie. Um, response from We're totally obsessed you know, with some it. media outlets. It's like, why are you asking me about this? Well, it's on Drudge, you know. And so <laughs> it's you know, in some cases. And it's what do you say to that? I sort of bit, I sort of bit, asked them to repeat them. You know, say that to themselves out loud again and think about it. Say um, that out loud. You know, and everyone's a little embarrassed about it, and it's always like my boss, you know, my assignment editor's on me about this. Um, and so, but the example being that you, you know, that anyone saying anything can um, can get caught up in in the spin cycle in, in the a real way media. That okay, that's enough of that gaming. garbage. Yeah. Full clip up at infowars.com. It's already rolled off drudge, at least when I look during the break. Maybe I'll move it back to the top. I know he listens. But 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 imagine we say it's creepy. Can you imagine being Matt Drudge, how creepy that is? Oh, yeah. I mean looking over your I mean, you know, believe me, can you imagine stuff he goes through? So the point is is that, folks, we're really walking point here. And I'm not asking for you to admire us. Just pray for us and support us. Because believe me, we're walking to the valley of the shadow of death. We fear no evil, but we fear not getting our mission completed. And notice, you know, they're saying, oh, we ridicule. He's telling people, ridicule media when they go, hey, Diane Feinstein says the goal is to ban all our guns once they're registered. Here's her video clip. Oh, don't answer that question. Laugh at them. You know, laugh at Charlton Heston in the grave. Like, like, like we're peer pressure driven, and when MSNBC's top shows have a million viewers, CNN 900,000, usually a half million, there's, there's a million people conservatively listening right now. Okay, and my show's you know, maybe number nine, number eight in talk radio. There's shows with 10 million listening, Rush Limbaugh right now. I mean, 
these people are, are trying to buy us out. They're trying to take over Limbaugh. And not that he's perfect, but if they can shut us down, it's over. I want you to bring in your next guest. And I'm sorry for cutting his time. Very important information. But, but Mike, again, this is an important point in history. They're not going to let you realize how important all of us are. You are spreading the word. They hate the fact that we now are controlling the narrative with the truth, and they want to ridicule us for it. When this scum traitors, criminals, ridicule us, they're doing criminal stuff. When they ridicule us, that's a badge of honor. These are the globalist occupiers who think they're going to come in here and laugh at us and say, oh, we're not trying to take your guns. There's no bullets. There's no armored vehicles. There's no GMO. It doesn't work anymore, scum. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore, and we see you. Like the two billion bullets story. If it wasn't for Drudge and InfoWars... That story never would have been. Sure, InfoWars breaks it. Drudge goes and looks, it's real, starts putting it out. They say he's a liar. And they deny the bullets. And then that discredits them because we just keep hammering them because exactly. we're bigger than them. And it's real. They're they're acting like they're like a chihuahua <laughs> that thinks you can beat up a bull mastiff, except we're a bull mastiff that's trained to kill. And we're, we're not gonna let truth. it just we're jump on the our truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. If you report the truth, they can deny it and deny it, but eventually it comes out and then they look like the yeah, sure, sure. they are. Your lab can get beat up by a mean uh, chihuahua because I have a lab and a chihuahua. It's the boss. Oh, yeah. But if it goes up to a pit bull, it, it, it's lunch. And this right. chihuahua is snapping at us. And I'm like, hey, I outnumber you, I outnumber you 50 to 1. I got giant teeth. Okay, I'm not going to listen to you. Yeah, the that White House is a sounds joke. Sounds like the ravings of a fascist. Thank you, Glenn. That's what that sounds like. Alex Jones. And I'm a piece of garbage. All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. All right. Well, see, but he didn't like Breitbart either because he had his own thing. See, I want everybody. I want more drudges, more Breitbarts. Because yes. let me tell you, yeah. I want more soldiers beside me in the gap. Absolutely. You don't want to be the only. Folks, one join there. us in the fight now. Hey, bring in your guest. He's right. awesome. Okay. Uh, hold him a little bit in the next hour, and I'll come in with like a five minute update because I want him to get his time. Okay. All right. All right. That, thank you, Alex. Thanks for, for stepping in. And Thanks also, visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. <laughs>